G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, as I promised in uh, my video yesterday on the mad trucks that I picked up, I thought I'd bring out the blue one today since it's already got the receiver installed, the WL Toys receiver. As you can see, I'm just gonna use the V1 transmitter here uh, today. Now, I'm going to run this one on the nickel metal hydride battery like they did back in the day when these were released. Um, this little ESC in here, like I mentioned in my previous video, uh, didn't really like uh, when I hooked up a LiPo to it with a Tamiya plug. It did run, but for a very short period then it cut off. So I think this little ESC, it's a very small one. Um, this little red one here, is that small. It probably is only like a 25 amp ESC and it's uh, not really LiPo compatible. Probably is only rated to 7.2 volts. So let's take it for a run, guys. Um, the battery's fully charged. Like I said, it's a 3300 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride pack, and uh, I'll show you how it performs. Guys, let's uh, give it a go. Runs a 550 brush motor. It's gonna keep it close range because this is the V1 Electronics. You can see that it hugs those corners. Let me just take it a bit further out so you can see it. Just leans into the corners. Pretty awesome. So, you know, on the nickel metal hydride battery, it's going okay. Not gonna get the punch of a lipo, but uh, these, these, this battery that I'm running is pretty old. It's got some pretty decent power though. Old 550 brushed setup. But I love how it hugs the corners. Look at this, like I was uh, showing you on the bench in my video yesterday. Pretty awesome truck, I like these. Um, obviously I've got that red one as well. This one will end up being brushless. Tires are great for off-road. Pretty grippy. So let's take it out in the wood chip, see how it does there. So if you haven't caught my uh, video from yesterday on these uh, trucks that I purchased from the salvage shop, I'll leave a card right now and you can check it out. Go through in more detail of these trucks and what I, some of the history I found about them. Apparently these were released in uh, 2002 from Henglong. And had a pretty good run by the look of it. I went on YouTube again uh, last night after posting my video yesterday about these trucks. And there's some pretty old videos there as well that are around 10 years old. So I don't know how long this battery's gonna last. Suspension is great on this one for its age. All filled shocks are working well. It's got some pretty decent power. 550 brush. Not unlike what we see today with the new RCs that are on the market. Whoa, first flip over. <laughs> yeah, pretty decent speed out of it anyway. Can't take this one too far. I like how it hugs the uh, terrain. A 
All right, guys, well, I think I'll bring it in. The battery seems to be going a bit flat, so I don't want this video to drag on. So anyway, I just thought I'll show you how these uh, mad trucks run in pretty much their stock configuration with a nickel metal hydride battery. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, definitely gonna go brushless on this one soon. Uh, I'll have to buy some uh, parts, have to buy a motor, ESC, and uh, yeah be good to go so thanks very much for watching guys like i said earlier if you haven't caught the uh story on how i bought these and a more detailed view on it um check out my video from the other day i'll leave a link at the outro screen as well as during this video you can check it out in more detail so thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you on the next one